Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to understand assertions. So with the help of the assertions, we can compare actual result with expected result. I'm taking example of the manual testing. In manual testing, when we are running any test case, at the end of the test case, or maybe in the middle of the test case, we are comparing actual result with the expected result. So if actual result is equal to expected result, it is passed. If they are not matching, it's failed. So that kind of comparison can be done in Selenium by using assertions. So with the help of the assertions, we can compare actual result with expected result. To compare actual result with expected result means to make assertion, TestNG already provided a class. The name of the class is assert. So we are going to use this class and the method of this class to compare actual and expected results. So we are going to understand that. I'm just moving to the Eclipse. So here I have a project with the name Selenium Automation. Here I have created one test case in which we have used two annotations. One is before method in which we are just starting the Chrome browser and just giving the URL. Here in the test, I'm searching for text box with the ID email and just putting the hello in that. So first of all, I'm just running it without any assertion. I'm just running it and here we will we'll see browser will be started and it will enter some data into the text box. So it's enter hello over here. So that's the code that I have written as of now. We did not make any assertion. So here in the test case, wherever we want to compare actual result with the expected result, we can use assert class, which is provided by the test ng. So I'm coming over here. Here I want to compare some data. So I'm just using assert dot. As you are using assert dot, one thing that we need to notice, this assertion is provided by the JUnit as well. We need to use test ng assert. So I'm just writing test ng assert dot first assertion i'm going to use is for test ng so i'm going to use assert equal and that's very important because we are using test ng annotation over here if we select that assert equal from here so it's going to use the assertion from the j unit but because we are working on test ng we need to select the assert of the test ng itself so org test ng assert i'm just selecting this here you can see it's already imported. So first assertion I'm comparing two data. Like if you want to compare two data, we are just using assert equal. What is the actual result that we want to compare? As of now, I'm just taking a dummy data. So I'm just writing actual result and whatever the expected result you want to compare. So I'm comparing expected result. As of now, it's going to compare these two strings these strings are not equal so it's going to be failed i'm just running it and we will notice again this time same test case which was getting passed last time this time it will fail and in result it is going to show like it is failed just because assertion is not matched so i'll show you uh, it's a failure over here it's a failure and if you see in result it shows you are expecting this but getting this so it's an assertion failure so with the help of the assertion we can compare actual result with expected result i would suggest before making assertion we manually import the class org dot test test ng dot assert class so advantage is important is that now whenever we are using assertion means whenever we are using assert class as we click on the dot it's going to show only the options which are related to the test ng so it will be the advantage for us because by mistake if we select the assertion of the j unit but here we are using the annotation of the test ng so it will be difficult because JUnit assertion is not going to work with the test ng. We need to select the test ng assertion because we are using test ng annotations. Now we have 
seen how we can make assertion, how we can compare actual result with expected result. I'm just moving to the document. So what is assertion? With the help of the assertion, we can compare actual result with expected result. For creating assertions, we are going to get assert class. And one more thing you notice over here, this is a class and these are the static method of this class. A static method can be called directly by the class name. That's why we are writing the class name dot and we can call all this assert methods. Moving to my document. So here we have seen we are using assert class of the SNG. Now we have to understand type of assertions. We have two type of assertions, hard assertion and soft assertion. I'm going to uh, give the practical example of both kind of assertions. As of now, I'm just going to show the difference between these two assertions. I'm taking example, I'm moving to the paint here. Here we have few line of code. So I'm writing like line number one, line number two. On the line number three, I want to make an assertion. So I just making it on a different point. I'm starting it from the different point. Then line number four, line number five. So that's my code. And I'll say this is code line. Again, this is also code line, but that is an assertion. Now, first I'll explain hard assertion. So I'm explaining hard. So I'm explaining here hard assertion. In the case of the hard assertion, if my like, like when we execute this, I'm using the hard assertion over here. My first line will execute, second line will execute, and in case of assertion, because that's a hard assertion, if this assertion gets failed, because we are using hard assertion, it will not execute the rest of the line. So because it was the hard assertion, I'll say in case of the failure of this hard assertion, in failure of hard assertion rest of the lines means these lines because these lines are written after the assertion rest of the remaining line of code will not execute now we got the idea what do you mean by hard assertion now moving to the soft assertion in case of the soft assertion first two line will execute and this assertion because it's a soft assertion so if soft assertion is failed if soft assertion is failed test case will fail that is fine but still it is going to execute rest of the line still remaining line will execute so here we can see in case of the hard assertion, if my assert line is failed, assertion is failed, rest of the line will not execute. But in case of the soft assertion, if my assertion is failed, still rest of the line will execute. Even in this case also, if because assertion is getting failed, at the end final test case will be failed. Test case is getting failed, that is fine, but still rest of the line are executing. I can give you example where we can use hard assertion or soft assertion. So I'm taking example of the Gmail. In Gmail, I'm just removing all these things. In Gmail, first of all, I want to log in. So I will write the script of the login. Then I want to verify. I want to check compose button is there or not. And if compose button is there, then I want to compose and send email. So in this case, if you see here, we need to make assertion on the compose button. If compose button exists, then rest of the line need to be executed because rest of the lines are dependent on this assertion. Because if this assertion is passed, then rest of the lines are meaningful as it is not meaningful. So in that kind of scenario, we are going to use hard assertion because if this assertion is failed rest of the line is not required to be executed so in this case i'm going to use hard assertion now i'm going to give you example of the soft assertion 
same kind of example I'm taking first of all I need to log in first we need to log in then verify after login we are getting welcome message and after that just compose email here if you see in this case my compose email functionality is nowhere related to this verification I want if this verification is passed execute this compose email if this verification is failed still I want to execute my compose email steps because compose email steps are not related to the verification so in this case I can make soft assertion because if the soft assertion is failed still rest of the lines will execute I'm just giving the example of the soft assertion so here is the difference between the hard assertion and soft assertion in practical we are going to implement these both these kind of assertions so we'll see in the next lectures here we have seen what are the different type of assertions now I'll show you what are the common assertions which are provided by the test ng so few assertions we have already seen like assert dot assert equals so we have equals and if we see we have assert not equals apart from it we have assert null assert true assert false so here we can see we have the option of the assert true so these are the common assertions which we are going to get we can verify the result is coming true or false so assert true and assert false assert equal assert not equal assert null assert not null so these are the common assertions which we are going to use i'll show you practically all these type of assertions in the later sessions so here in the session we have covered what is assertions in next session onwards we will see practically all these assertions that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video